all right everybody this is going to recap the nominees for the uh the game awards nominees for all the different categories you see here uh we're gonna check it out see what we have available um and just go from there let's do this let's full screen it i love it um we're gonna start down here at the bottom uh which you can't see which is actually right nope right here right this one this one right here we're gonna start right here this one and and whoop wow technology huh so um best esports event i have zero stake in this um league of legends i'm not terribly into um what else the international 2021 i'm not even sure what that is and pgl major stockholm i don't know what that is <laughs> did any yeah that's true spicy that's a very good uh what no star <laughs> <laughs> that should have been in here uh pubg mobile not my thing and then valorant i would probably you know what here's what we're gonna do let me go ahead and switch to this real quick ignore the ignore the uh weird green screen do, 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 do. let's do this we're gonna we're signing in real quick all right we're signing in no worries no worries continue that's me let's go let's go back here we go all right let's start you where <laughs> i know they should have started you here that'd be great and i'm gonna apologize right now for being extra blue because i have a giant blue um tv in front of me i wish i could change the color so i'm gonna vote for valorant because i don't know what this other stuff is but yeah that's not a whole lot that i would like to let's go previous category huh best esports coach again i don't know any of these people uh no i know james crowder i know crowder that's call of duty that's probably what i'm gonna vote for um yeah let's vote let's do that call of duty let's do it all right next one uh best esports team again i don't know a ton unless you guys could tell me something that i don't know if there was an absolute dominant team this year I know phase was pretty good, um, but I have no idea about the rest of this stuff. So if you have any input, please let me know. Phase. I mean, yeah, I have no idea with these other ones. League of Legends, don't know Counter-Strike, don't know Valorant, don't know Dota. Don't follow either. Phase it is. Let's go back. I feel like I'm voting for FaZe all the goddamn time. I don't keep up with e-gaming. Yeah, me either. I really don't. Honestly, I haven't. I used to watch fighting like Evo. I used to watch a lot of like Tekken was the main one that I watched a lot. Um, <clears throat> but like I haven't watched a whole lot of anything. So. so I might as well just keep it keep it moving with some of these. Best esports game. It's just all the same stuff uh i'm gonna give it to one of these other ones probably dota 2 no valorant i guess i really don't know yeah i'm not surprised i'm surprised uh rainbow six siege isn't in here that's one thing i am curious about maybe not stardew for, for best easter i wish man i wish let's just give it to league of legends for cap that's for cap oh okay okay <clears throat> now this is the category this is a real category right here by real category i mean something that's not not that it's not warranted but i'm saying real category is and it's difficult to choose one of these games oh my goodness sorry i'm in the way of this other one maybe i can move myself hold on one second can i scroll down there we go that puts it up there so most anticipated game is what it is so we have starfield we have the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. Horizon Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok, and Elden Ring. That's a tough one, man. And me personally, I want to see what a new IP looks like from Bethesda, but I don't believe it's my most anticipated game. 
I am. You guys know how I feel about Breath of the Wild. I haven't played it. I just like to talk shit and get everybody riled up. Uh, for Horizon Forbidden West is up there after playing the one recently this year. Um, Zero Dawn. God of War Ragnarok. I'm excited because I think the way that they're going with that should be very, very interesting. I'm more interested in the story of God of War than I am the actual entire game. But I think I've got to go with my heart, my gut. The biggest, the biggest video on YouTube for my channel is the uh, Elden Ring reaction. Does very well. You know me, FromSoft. Had to be done. Elden Ring, got to make it happen. And I'm sorry if my voice starts giving out and I start sounding like Barry White. But uh, I'm kind. it's kind of rough. I, my throat is like destroyed and I don't know why. That's what she said. Don't get any ideas. Don't, don't even think that way. Oh, thank you, Rin. Cheers to you. Cheers. I didn't realize Elden Ring was from soft. Really? Really? Well, it's it's something they've it's only a little bit they they're they're exploring new stuff. They're exploring a new open world environment, so we'll see what it looks like. We'll see, we'll see. I'm excited though. Previous category, what do we got? Best debut indie. Ooh, where's Knickknack when you need him? So, so Valheim took over uh, the streaming, I guess, atmosphere for a little bit, right? Um, I have not played Sable yet, and I really want to. I really want to try Sable because I love the way the art style is. Um, I've heard nothing but great, great things from Kenna or Kena. I think it's Kena and usually Nick Knack and almost anybody else that's played it. Um, Valheim was good for about a week. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt too. I felt a little underwhelmed after I played it. I was like, oh, okay, you know, it is what it is. Um, the Forgotten City, I've heard also fantastic things about, but one game that I have played from start to finish was the artful escape um but the reason i'm not going to be voting for it is because they're visually absolutely stunning but when it comes to the gameplay obviously and i think this is intentional it's extremely um extremely simple which is fine that's not a bad thing i'm just saying for me to vote for it i feel like I, I want to give it to I'm going to give it to Kena because that's a game I'm going to be playing. I think we're going to go Kena. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Previous category. What do we got? Content creator of the year. So here's here's what I don't I don't like. This isn't my show. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So it's not like something I'm going to be like, wow, these people shouldn't be on here just because I don't know of them doesn't mean that they don't deserve it right i know who greg uh was it greg fg or whatever or greg f or i don't know how to say it i know who this is i know who that is because of the giant stream they had like i don't know millions of people watching i know who dream is because of what minecraft right minecraft a uh, minecraft content creator um i don't know who uh Fusli is i don't know who gauls is or gals and i don't know who I, I buy if I I don't know who they are so part of me just wants to cast my vote for dream unless you guys have something else to say I don't really have dream I mean I don't know what else to say right it's gotta be dream like it's dream or uh, I don't Dream literally all over YouTube. Yeah, I can't even get I can't even scroll a night through TikTok and not see like one of his Minecraft videos. Granted, that's because I watch him and then they show up more. But I feel that. Ooh, best multiplayer. Oh, man, this is not a game for me. Or this is not a category for me, to be honest with you. So we have Valheim, New World, Monster Hunter Rise, It Takes Two, Knockout City and Back for Blood. I'm home. Let me at him. <laughs> What's up, Hermes? Let's go, Hermes. Happy birthday.
Valheim are back for blood, but that's because I played them. Right, true, true, true. See, here's my thing though. I almost... All the other ones you played had bugs. Really interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Valheim was a lot of fun with people. It absolutely was a good time with people. The only reason I don't want to I would I don't want to vote for New World because it's Amazon. You're trying to have a guest roast you? I'm set up if you're down to clown. Um I would love to, but I don't believe that I I don't think that my stuff is set up, Hermes. Like for us to to do a two person screen. You know, but while looking at these, you know what I mean? But you can join in voice if you want. You want to do that? Is that something you want to do? You tell me. You know what? Fuck it. No, no, no. I'll figure it out. Let's figure it out. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me pause this. Okay. All right. Welcome back. Hello. 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 Uh, sorry for that quick little cut there. But. Um, oh, our names are. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. See what happens when you repurpose old scenes. Um, okay, there we go. I think those are good now. Anyways. Cool. Uh, all right. So this is going to be. Um, we're doing best multiplayer hermes i've done a couple already so uh hopefully that's okay everything's good with you over there but um 22 wow wait what do you say 22 yeah there's 20 there's 30 total categories um which is yeah. kind of kind of nutty but uh yeah it's gonna be kind of cool uh i'm i've always loved these things i'm excited we're probably gonna deep dive into this on friday um split screen if you're cool with that that'll yeah, be probably yeah. a huge topic because there's not a lot to talk about other than halo for me um, right. but I think that'll be a good time, but let's get into it. We have Valheim, uh, new world monster hunter rise. It takes two knockout city and back for blood. Um, are you leaning any specific way? Yes. And I haven't even played the game. Uh, it takes two personally. I, I really, really agree. Um, I think if we were to stick to games, we've played it, it's three of them knockout city back for blood and Valheim. Yeah, I haven't even played Knockout City, so back for both. You didn't? You didn't play even on the, the first night? Nope. Okay, all right, well. Um, and I don't want, and I don't feel comfortable voting for any of those because I didn't put enough time, meaning I didn't have enough. Um, I didn't want to, right? So that's kind of how I feel about right. it. Valheim was fun with people. We were just kind of messing around doing our thing. Knockout City was fun to play, but I felt like it's more of a competitive stuff and you have to actually sweat. Uh, back for Blood right. is more casual, but It Takes Two is a special, special co-op game what I hear yeah. from countless people. So I think, uh, I think we can agree with that one. That's a good, should I put on music? Where's that music go? I had music. And I also feel like with it takes two, uh, we haven't seen anything of the likes of it since, uh, a way out. Same developer, by, same developer. Yeah. yeah. They, they kill it with that when it comes to that. Um, he's like, Oh, it's going to be sick. I, I'm rooting for them, but, uh, yeah yeah all right let's go best sports racing game i don't even know oh, this is this is the easiest choice i've in this so far um it's forza horizon 5. yep and when when we get to game of the year i've got a little bit have you seen these at all today i have not seen oh these this is so exciting new. yes <laughs> yes rin said forza <laughs> as well in personally yeah. oh this is so good so good Here's also though I don't want to I don't want to discount Hot Wheels Unleashed and Riders Republic, and Riders Republic only because there's nothing out like it, right? Yeah. Okay. Because you're looking at massive amounts of people doing like, for example, dirt bikes that turn into fucking wingsuits that turn into skis, like all yeah. in one one full like one full race. So I don't want to discredit that game by any means. I just haven't played it. But I have heard pretty decent things about it. Um, but Forza, hands down, it should honestly be um, game of the year category as well. It's beautiful. Best sim and strategy game. Let's see here, man. There's one for you right there. Yeah, Didn't you play I, Humankind? I was say. Um, kind of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Those are the two that I've touched. Right. So fights. Uh, we have Microsoft Flight Simulator, Inscription, which I heard is awesome. I heard uh, that too. It's kind of taken Twitch by storm lately. A Devolver, man. Devolver always puts at least one darling out every year. Uh, Humankind, of course. Evil yep. Geniuses 2, haven't played, and I have played I have played Age of Empires 4. 
Um, I don't think either one of us, well, we kind of enjoy them from time to time, I think, but neither one of us really like, uh, I, I don't know. It's hard to say. We don't put a, a large amount. I wouldn't put it in my top yeah. five categories. I don't think maybe even. Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't seek out these games. Yeah, we don't, we don't know? dabble in the sim strategy stuff, but right. I will say Age of Empires 4 is really good. Um, but I think out of pure shock factor, I want to give it to Flight Simulator. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like out of just like I'll the be technology real, I, behind I it. The one Cause I've played Age of Empires 4, Humankind and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, and out of those three, Microsoft Flight Simulator was the most fun. Just right. Getting in a plane and crashing into your house was Yeah, obviously. Amazing. You gotta do it. <laughs> you have to. I'm cool with voting for that one too. I think that's a good idea. What do we got next? What do we got? Best family game. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so jokingly, everybody names this the Nintendo category. Um I see why. And you're literally you're literally looking at four Nintendo games, and then it takes two. Um yeah. But uh, WarioWare uh, is fun, I think. I am personally, I'm going to have to pick Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser Fury only because that is a game that me and my daughter played and completed together. Oh, um, then yeah, I feel like that's a, so, that's a duh. I think, I think that's the vote. It has to be. It takes two, I think, <clears throat> deserves better awards than this one. That's kind of my point. Yeah, I agree. Uh, best fighting game. Wow, so they got some good games in this. They do, man. And uh, I'm not voting for Virtual Fighter Five. Um, I won't do it. I played it. Melty Blood. I've never even heard of Melty Blood, but it looks like a game I want to play. And Gear, uh, Guilty Gear, like Rin said, Guilty Gear is something that you wanted me to play because you thought I'd really yes. enjoy it. I was just so hesitant to spend 60 bucks on it. Yeah, um, well, I thought you'd enjoy it. And Matt Mercer is one of the voices in it. So. Uh, there's two. There's two reasons. I get it. <laughs> yeah. So part of me wants to vote for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl or Guilty oh, yeah. Gear. Um, nostalgia only for Nickelodeon because of the characters. But like yep. Guilty Gear, because I think like fundamentally, it's probably the best fighting game in this category. So yeah i would agree but i wonder i wonder if uh ultimately nickelodeon takes it just because it's the first one to branch out into that super smash bros uh that's true like that's very very true you know what's funny there's only there's only one true 3d fighting game and that's virtual fighter yeah by like because like guilty gear side you know back and forth i'm not saying it's not three-dimensional characters but it's like you can move in a circle and you know what I mean? Do all that kind of, that's an actual right. three-dimensional game. Uh, All-Star Brawl. I th Yeah, let's go with Brawl. You cool with Brawl, man? Oh, let's go do it. Let's yeah. do Nickelodeon. Fuck it. Uh, category. Next one. Best role playing. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. I didn't know they were going to. Okay. So I thought most anticipated. Oh, Did I you see? Hold on. I want to go um, real quick. I'm going to, I'm going to, sorry, everybody. We're going to hit one back that I wanted Hermes to take a look at. Right here, most anticipated game. Look at this lineup. Oh my god! Talk about <laughs> talk about a an extra four out of the five are really hard for me to pick from. Yeah. Um, it's Breath of the Wild. I know that that was the one that was is. really hard for you. It was like, man, how do I pick anything else? <laughs> <laughs> holy crap this is this is an insane lineup i wanted to go he, i wanted to pick this one starfield you're right i wanted to this one makes sense though but if it was if if this wasn't on the list it was going to be starfield donatella how do you pick i know that's what i'm saying yeah, how do you pick insane uh god of war ragnarok i i know Og. i had to pick elden ring i had to it was something obviously <laughs> Rin was like, yeah, that's an Elden Ring for sure. Um, hey, what was the what was the content creator one? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go to that one real quick. I I'll, I'll back that. that. So I don't know three of the five. Okay. I think Gref G takes it. I'd be uh, it's between Dream and 
uh dream is Gref everywhere G. i haven't seen yeah. gruff g for a long time not since his big uh twitch whatever it was really, right really this is just a pick of whose name do people remember yeah so you i know, think it's between those two hating on zelda <laughs> no it's just my thing now it's just like dr pepper cream soda i have to do it it's just what it is even if i don't actually i just have to keep up with it right um right. i pick dream because i know who dream is uh, i know who gref yeah. g is um only because of one thing though and everybody else i have no idea right so but that's all i love his picture do we all know his face yet does he do people know what he looks like oh wait this so. one I think he's always been messed. Okay. Okay. So they didn't have to do me like this, right? Holy crap. They My <laughs> answer's easy. Yeah, I know. My and, answer's above me. <laughs> yeah, I know Hermes is all cyberpunk, and I, I get it because. Um Customization, yeah, including massively multiplayer experiences and progression. I mean Regardless of the bugs and that, all that, the role playing aspect of Cyberpunk is fantastic. Right. Also, Donatello, he didn't play it. <laughs> did, did you not like the game? I haven't played a Zelda game ever. It's just, it's just one of those things where I've got to, I've got to, I got to kind of keep it moving. You know what I mean? Um, but man, Tales of Arise was really good. And I'm kind of upset that I didn't finish it. But I was so burnt out on, I think, mm. games in general. Um, yeah. I you, you see the game in the middle. You absolutely see that middle game. Oh for yeah, me. that's that's where your votes go. And we all you. we all know that. Uh, I I dude I. <laughs> if it was based off of how many things I have on my shelf compared to the other one, Cyberpunk takes it. But. <laughs> um. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go. Scarlet Nexus. I have to. I have to. But uh, here's the other reason why I don't want to. Um, I really want Cyberpunk to win something. Yeah, that'd be cool, right? I just Come want them to story of the century. just win a category. Um, but Scarlet Nexus is so damn good. It is so damn good. Ah, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Best action adventure game. Mmm. That's Ooh. another good one, man. Yeah. Another good one. Action adventure. So I played one, two, two of these with intentions to play four of the five. I won't play Dread because it's on Nintendo. Not because I don't want to, but I just I when it comes he to hates funds. Nintendo. <laughs> I, I I apparently I do. It just um, but I think I watching somebody play Dread, I think I'd really enjoy it. Yeah, Honestly. I, I haven't personally played any of these, but I, uh, like you said, I've watched content on four of them. Not Dread, I'm not familiar, but the other four. Ooh, this is a hard one, man. You're muted. I'm getting a lot of Resident Evil. Oh, or Ratchet and Clank. Um, I personally like thinking about it. I think it has to be Ratchet and Clank just yeah. because it showed what the PS5 could do. It did take a lot of the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And I did play Ratchet and Clank 2016 this year. So that kind of was like a glimpse into what I could only imagine Rift Apart is about. Right. And Guardians, I don't feel comfortable voting for because I haven't played it, and I was so fucking against it when I when it, before it launched, and everybody's right. ideals came out. So I can't even, um, I can't say. But Ratchet and Clank, I think, is is a smart play. Psychonauts two, I'm pushing for them because Double Fine is a fantastic studio. Uh, but then again, so is Insomniac. So, best oh. action game. Oh, I've got an easy one here. I have easy, one too, but I'm between two. I I have one because it's just pure insanity and so much fun. Okay, we're thinking of the same game. Okay. Chivalry two. Yes. Yep. Yes. Returnal is great. Returnal is wait. I'm over here. I forgot. I switched. Returnal is absolutely fantastic. 
I played it again in a year where it was fucking roguelike and it was time loops all over and all the time. Just every yeah. single game, every month, I felt like there was a different one that was needed to be played. Um, I'm going Chivalry 2. There's nothing... I'm sorry. Hold on, I gotta change this song. Hold on. <laughs> what song is playing? Split screen. Oh. <laughs> Let me just hold on. What was that? Right here. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I was like, that's the song Hermes repurposed. I love it. <laughs> oh, I so love it. Uh, anyways, okay. Yeah, so Shivery 2. See, we didn't fall in love with Back for Blood the way we thought we did. Or we were going to, did we? Yeah, no, we didn't. And also, I feel like, like you said, this was kind of, I don't know, the season for time loops. And yeah. I don't think Deathloop hit the mark. I know it's loved. I think, uh, well, here's, for me personally, being that I played Returnal, I played Deathloop. I really think Deathloop is special, but I don't think it deserves the best action game to me. Because I think it deserves a higher award. Okay. You know what I mean? So I think that's kind of my my point. So I think Chivalry 2 is a good vote for this. And I'll, I'll explain myself when we get to the category. I think it deserves to win. Oh, man. I don't know what this is. Oh. That's VR AR. Okay. I have no idea. Obviously, we don't have VR headsets. Yeah, Part? all of these are lost on me except Hitman 3. I want to say Hitman 3 because imagine how cool that would be. Yeah. But then again, I heard great things about Resident Evil 4. I expect you to die. I'm assuming looks really good. Was Half-Life Alex last year? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That was definitely last year. Uh, let's just throw out a vote here. What do you got? Hitman? Hitman. Yeah, let's fucking do it. Surprised that wasn't in best action game. Yeah. Wow. Hey, Wild, hello. I stole his stream. <laughs> <laughs> Sniper Lead is cool in VR. Oh, Spicy, I bet it is. I That's one game I want to play. I absolutely want to play. All right, so innovation and accessibility. By the way, I love this category. I absolutely yep. love this. Um, if you guys don't know what the veil is, it's 100% an audio game. Oh, really? There is zero visuals for you to play. Wow. Hey, okay. Wild, what's going on? Welcome in. About time <laughs> I catch another stream. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it, Wild. Hell yeah. We love having you here. Um, I don't know what Marvels did. I don't know what Guardians did. Forest Horizon, I know what they did. They've added a ton of accessibility to their game. Um, so much so that you can literally just hit the gas and it drives itself. Yeah, which is... They got Teslas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Know, but they do. <laughs> yeah. Imagine having Teslas in that game. That'd be sick. Ah, be sick. Um, and I'm curious. Far Cry being on here makes me want to take a look and actually see what they have. My wife's playing it right now, and I want to see what the options are for Far Cry, but I don't know. So I, I think my vote is either for the veil because of what the actual game represents or Forza because I know what it brings to the table. I The fact that an all audio game could have innovation and accessibility is super cool. And I think the veil should take it. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think it's it means more for some reason voting for that than it does for yeah. any of the other ones. Uh, best community support. Oh, oh Jesus. this is the one <laughs> you won't see dead by daylight here. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> Um. Oof. Okay. Wild says. Wild says. Started playing another survival game, Conan Exiles. Oh, you're gone, man! You're gonna lose your life again. <laughs> so, I want to say Destiny Two, right? But I know better because final fantasy 14 online is so praised by so many different people that i follow oh really 
No Man's Sky got completely overhauled. I did hear that as well. I, I did hear that. So I'm going to vote for that just because yeah. I think they deserve it. Plus, no Man's Sky is one I've wanted, wanted to be uh, jumping into at some point. You should, man. It's 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 like Fallout 76 where it's a great time to do so. Nice. Best mobile game. OK, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know any of these. I know Genshin Impact. I know League of Legends, Marvel. I know that. I I so for me personally, I have to go League of Legends, but that's purely based off of Arcane. I I don't know what to do, you mean? I don't I don't know. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, just fucking. I almost just want to vote for Genshin Impact, just cause. <laughs> right. Uh, so what did you say? You said League of Legends. I said League of Legends because they're killing it with Arcane. <laughs> Make spicy chaos says Clash of Clans for me. <laughs> nice. Genshin is really fun. Man, I, I think I keep hearing that. I'm just going to put League of Legends. I don't know this one personally. <laughs> don't listen to the community. Oh, dude. Did you see Nick Knack's tweet? Look at this category. Okay, so Loop Hero, Kenna Bridge of Spirits, Inscription, Death Store in 12 minutes. Holy shit. Okay. There's a lot to unpack here. Nick Knack was like, how do I pick one? Because Nick Knack's played 12 minutes. I don't know if he played Death's Door. He played Kenna. I'm sure he played Loop Hero. That sounds like something he would play. 12 minutes versus Death's Door versus Kena. I know. Yeah, it's it's insane. My vote is obviously the only one that I've played on here so far. But I still have I still have time to play Kena and still have time to play Death's Door. Uh, my vote would be Kena. Wild said 100%. Loop Hero. Wild said Loop Hero. Loop Hero came out at the beginning of the year. That's why I feel like I don't remember it very well. Gotcha. You, you want to say Kena, you said? Yeah, just because it's a Pixar movie that you play. Uh, I voted for Kena as best debut indie game. Oh, okay. okay that's what that's I voted a for. Better though. one for them to win, to be honest with you. I think I'm, I'm going 12 minutes. Going 12 minutes because it's one of the very only loop time loop games I've finished this year. No. <laughs> Granted, because it's not terribly long. <laughs> uh okay. What do we got here next? Best ongoing game. Apex Legends, Final Fantasy 14 Online, Fortnite, Genshin Impact, Call of Duty Warzone. Not Warzone. Um Fortnite can't mm. keep winning these things. Um What do you think, man? I would have to go Final Fantasy. Let's just do it. Yeah. Let's just do it. Let's, let's absolutely just do it. Uh, not for nothing, 12 minutes was infuriating. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> Hang you. It could be. Yes, it absolutely could be infuriating. You're like, where's this fucking thing I need? <laughs> Anything besides a BR. That's well, well said. Well said. Games for impact. For thought-provoking game with a pro social meaning or message. Ooh, okay. So I don't know what No Longer Home is. I know what Life is Strange True Colors is. My yep. wife has played that. Uh Chicory, I've heard some fantastic things about Chicory. Oh shit, hold on. Hmm. Did that hold on, hold on. Oh no, that's Hermes. Go back. Ah. There we go. Um can I pause this? No, I can't without doing this. Hold on. Oh, man. Did it work? I don't think so. This used to be a split screen scene. Uh, oh, no. Hold on. I can do hit, studio. Yeah, hit studio mode and then go over and copy. Uh, Console and mode. then sound trigger. I got you. Don't worry. I got you. Uh, Get out of studio. Section, it should have worked. This is not split screen. <laughs> what's up section eight it should be work i know it doesn't work but i wanted to do it anyway it does it should hold on uh it absolutely should now I'm try gone. it now try there. it hold on uh what is it ghost right yeah okay. ghost ghost reporting yes mm, nice fuck yeah let's go baby welcome right. in section eight we're just talking about the game awards um and everything that goes into that. So it's uh yeah, let's let's uh let's get back into it. Let me turn on this music again. 
do 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 all right all righty actually you know what i should move this up is what i'm gonna do there that's better so now i don't have to keep fucking messing anything up <laughs> um games for impact boyfriend dungeon was really kind of different where your weapons are technically it's like a dating sim but your your the weapons are people okay i don't weird. know the weapons turn into a different type of weapon or a person the person's turning i don't it's super weird man super weird but okay. it was really cool i'm just gonna vote for life is strange because it's the only one i actually know so yep. then honestly i i think it had a huge impact with like everything across the board it was the game that was needed at the time yeah for sure uh section eight says about to play some dnds nuts but we're waiting to start so i wanted to see what's going on here hey well cool man your premise of dungeon sounds like the premise of soul eater it's probably so gross <laughs> oh my god hey donatella thank you so much you're breathtaking that's what i'm talking about oh man all right next one best performance oh well okay well here's the thing i have who i want oh. to vote for because he's one of my favorite actors but um no it i uh, it has to be it just has to be yeah i'm looking at it and i believe i agree with you he is just i i don't i'm not trying to take anything away from these other people because the death loop characters are actually really 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 well done um i just don't think i can get away with without voting for you know moth gideon you know what i mean yeah you know what yeah. i mean come on yeah come we on. completely agree yeah let's do it let's get it far cry guy is what somebody said in chat <laughs> <laughs> oh shit okay let's go back here what do we got best audio design oh so here's where imagine being gus from breaking bag and being known as the far cry guy <laughs> <laughs> so true it's so true hydrate beach oh did i miss it i did thank you rin rin i'm all oh, out i don't i don't have a drink uh uh and uh, be right back up wait is it still recording oh it is okay all right so before we get into best audio magic cup magic cup thank you rin for making us run to get something to drink <laughs> Um. Uh, spicy, spicy says Forza. Uh, Donatello says I like Returnal's music. So here's what I want to say: is the reason I want to vote for Returnal on this one, and or Ratchet and Clank, is purely because all of the PlayStation games that I have played have sounded phenomenal. Yeah, and. I don't want to vote for Forza on this because it's not hard to mess up car sounds. True, but it's more than just car sounds. It's like the I mean, crunch yeah. of the gravel, the, the pavement, the rain, the music in the game, the environment, like the volcano. You know what I mean? So right. I feel what you're saying, but I think you simplified it a little bit. But honestly, I want to go with Returnal because it sound it actually sounds the best out of all of these. Yeah, I dig that. Let's do it. Mm, mm, mm. Best score oh, in music. Easy. Oh. Easy vote. This one, <laughs> this one's very, very easy for me as well. Can't vote for Forza because it isn't Gran Turismo. Get out of here, Wild, with that <laughs> shit. Uh, I'm pretty sure audio design and soundtrack score are different categories. Oh, called it. <laughs> too perfect. Absolutely too perfect. Um, for me, it's cyberpunk. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. It's cyberpunk. Um, it just is. That is some of, that's one of my favorite type of music. Not to mention, and I could be wrong. Somebody can fact check me on this. <laughs> Section but... A goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess artful escape would be two for what I'm saying, but cyberpunk's one of the only games that has streamed safe music. So you can reuse the music that was in the game for your stream. True. Arvel Escape is one that you kind of make yourself as well, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're actually almost creating that music as you go, which is cool. 
Yeah, I know. I, I've played I played through Artful Escape and I really, really enjoyed it. But like if Dang. I was but I never thought of to buy or play the music after. Cyberpunk, right. on the other hand, I still listen. Cyberpunk I did. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it slowly so 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 section eight really sees what's happening here. Uh, uh, yeah. There we go. Oh no. Kenny T, what's going on, Kenny? Just popping in to show some hey. love. Uh, accidentally showed up 40 minutes early for my first game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, that's good practice, man. Get warmed up. <laughs> Get absolutely warmed up. They can't say you're not punctual. Yeah. <laughs> Best art direction. Oh, this one. Oh, man. This one is kind of hard now that I'm looking at them all. uh never played either of them plus this is playstation stuff so it's worthless anyway right <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm gonna go i think i want to vote for psychonauts 2 because i think it's a, an adorable platforming 3d platformer but i do like i do like uh death loop only because of the uh the style of the game Right, it's like what is it like? It uh, kind of feels like seventies, seventies. Yeah, but I, uh, I really like Artful Escape for this one. It art direction. Different. Well, yeah, I think the art direction is. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I really, really do. You like Deathloop because you're you're a Bioshock bimbo. <laughs> we get it. We get it. That's so true. Oh man. oh man, I am. Sign me up for anything where I can dual wield anything. Oh man, <laughs> Arcane has my soul. I'm also I'm also a dishonored bimbo. So, oh, oh man, I saw something other something the other day in somebody's Twitter bio, and it said, um, "What did it say?" It said, uh, "No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was uh, it was much when she shared the art that she did for me." Yeah. Um, she was like, check him out here and watch him simp for video games. And it's like, that is so true. That is the yeah. pure definition of what I do. And I love it. Oh, I love it. It's dishonored, but classy. Right. That's exactly what Deathloop is. <laughs> Less plague, more class. Right. That's kind of what it is. Uh, I'm sorry, Hermes. That's oh, fine. I apologize. All right. Next one. What do we got? Best narrative okay okay oh. wait a second there's one missing from this fucking game or from this category okay you want to know what it is what cyberpunk i completely agree <laughs> <laughs> fucking chaos chaos was like there's one missing from this game forza <laughs> god damn it um <laughs> God damn it, Spicy got me again. Um I was about to say, if you say Battlefield, I'm leaving forever. <laughs> um Breath of the Wild. This is kind of tough, man. This is tough. For outstanding storytelling and narrative development. Honestly, there's only two games that I think of a narrative like driven game. What are they? Life is strange and it takes two. Yeah. And I would not even cool. honestly, it takes two. Honestly, I wouldn't even maybe I, I'm almost only see Life is Strange as a narrative driven game, right? That's the draw for the entire series. Is like that's what it is. Yeah, You're not doing you anything it? else. Did you see it takes two or play? Uh I've I've seen it and played very little. I loved it takes two as from a narrative standpoint. I know I do know what the story is about and what it has to offer, which is cool. Right. But like, I don't I think of the fun co-op experience. I don't think of, you know, first, at least for me. Right. So part of me wants to give it like these this one. I don't know. I don't I don't know. But I kind of want to give it to Life is Strange. OK, I'd have to ask my my wife. She'd be able to tell me. All right best game direction awarded for outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design this is where i want to vote for psychonauts 
Really? Yeah. I feel like this this is a weird lineup for this category. Really? Why is that? If you think about it, they're all different. But none of these games scream innovative to me at all. Well, like, it takes two is pretty. Psychonauts is the second one. Right. It takes two is after uh, a way out. Returnal is just a roguelike. Death well, Loop is just a roguelike. And well, Ratchet and Clank is a second as well. Returnal was one of the first well done 3D third person roguelikes like that. And that okay. like, cause you're thinking, oh, a roguelike, you know, it's gonna be either 2D, it's gonna be top down. It's gonna be, you know, isometric view, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> but um, the only reason I vote for Psychonauts and I really don't have any big, big reason is cause I think Psychonauts deserves something. And this is the only category where I felt confident. Yeah. But it takes two is just special. Right? I will give it to Psychonauts based on creative vision. It's an acid trip and it always has been. Double Fine is yeah. very talented for this. Like, you know, when you think of a video game company and you're like, they do that very well. Right? Yep. That's what they do. They're like, they're like, it's like the Mario. Double Fine is like the funny, goofy comedy platformers and they do it tremendously well. Right. All right, here's a good one. Here it is. Last one. Game of the year. Game of the year. Does this feel weak? Yeah. Insanely so. From what I saw of Psychonauts, it looks great. Yes, no, I've heard no, nobody has said a bad thing about it. That I've seen, at least. Personally, oh, my man. game is my my game of the year is uh, Scarlet Nexus, but that's not on right. this list. Wow, this is a bad lineup. <laughs> can't say bad. I'm, I can't say I'm, bad. No, I'm gonna throw it out there. This is a bad lineup. Um, my vote wants to go for Resident Evil. I want to go for anything other than what's above my head. So, Death Loop. Yeah. Because I know it's what's gonna win. You think so? Oh yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of curious. Out of all those, I don't see a game of the year except maybe Resident Evil, and even then, it's kind of weak. Exactly. I mean, yep. it's it's an eighth installment of a series, and you're like game of the year. Like you know what I mean? I would love if it takes two takes this. I w I'm heavy voting. Like I'm not heavy voting. I'm heavy rooting for Psychonauts 2, which won't happen. Or it takes two, which would be nice. But I think I'm going to vote for Resident Evil. Yeah, as long as you don't give it to Deathloop, I'm cool. Yeah. Holy shit, man. I love this. This whole thing that Jeff Keighley has is so good. All right, let's go to some of the ones you missed, Hermes. Let's go all the way back. Yeah. Wild says, I vote Elden Ring. I agree. Yep. Game of the year, Elden Ring. The Elden Ring closed network test. Game of the year. <laughs> the best esports event. Hermes, what do you got, man? Uh, League of Legends because of Arcane. The, the International 2021 because I've got no clue what that even means. I don't either. I have no idea what that is either. Well, like, what game is that for? <laughs> don't know. Best esports coach. What do you got, Horm Hormies? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What do you have, Hermes? Uh, uh, I, I voted know, for the man. call. I voted for the Call of Duty one because that's the only guy I know. Yeah, I, I don't know any of them. Yeah, don't know any of them at all. Boards that to take the year. I agree with you, Spicy. I agree. Esports team. Who you got, Hermes? Man, I don't know any of these either. Wait, Cod. what is uh got you, Cod? Um Yeah, these aren't games I play. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, okay, Call of Duty, because I know who these people are. That's all I did. Yep. But I was like, I asked and I was like, is anybody here like that dominated? You know what I mean? And nobody yeah. really could tell me, so. 
Best esports athlete. You chose him based <clears> off <throat> his name. Juan. Simp. Well, no, he's actually <laughs> fucking disgusting. Oh, if yeah, you, I've seen this guy. I've seen this gameplay. Simp is fucking disgusting. <laughs> but, like, I also should have voted for Simple because look at that. Look at those medals. Goddamn. <laughs> oh, well. He's like, really? There is no question. Yeah, let me just take a picture of all the shit I've won. But Simp is fairly new, so like he yeah, he'll be yeah. kinda but he's fucking disgusting. Um Esports game. I just put League of Legends because I said that's for Cap. Oh, no. I said that's for yep. Cap because Cap plays it. And I was like, whatever. Uh and then yeah, most anticipated. This is where it picked up a little bit. But holy shit, man. Holy shit. Whew. This is this is definitely going good. It's a good right. list. It's I, I it has to be right. It, it's either this, that this or God of War. Where I think this is the one where I think we can guarantee it. You think so? Yeah. You can you can guarantee it, but you almost didn't know what to pick. Well, because like I would go Starfield, right? Yeah, you personally but for it's, sure. It's it's a Jeff Keighley event. This is going to Elden Ring. <laughs> That's true. It, yeah, it's either it's yeah. it's either Elden Ring or PlayStation game the Elden Ring doesn't need to get vote for it was already the <laughs> most anticipated yeah, game yeah exactly exactly oh all right Elden Ring already won that's right wild that's what I'm talking about game of the year it's gonna be weird to talk about game of the year next year yeah because it's gonna be fucking stacked absolutely stacked next year man ah like all of these games are going to be in there right can we talk about how how much of a letdown the game of the year options were let's go back to them let's have that let's have that discussion even though we're going to probably have it friday well let's do it and just for reference i'm going to pull up games that release this year. well i think i can do rewind what is this? Want to relive some of the past shows? Yeah. Uh, we could do that. I think. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's rewind. Yeah, let's fucking do that. That'd be great. 2020. Don't play it. It's not going to play it, right? No, okay. Uh, 2020 was The Last of Us Part 2. What's the lineup? No, is that what you're going to bring up? No, I was I was bringing up games that came out this year, so I could just be like, this wasn't even on there. This wasn't even on there. Hey, look at look at these six, look at these PlayStation awards. God damn! Exclusive, 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 exclusive. <laughs> Fucking crazy, man. Oh man. All right, so hold on, let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. Um, twenty twenty. Game the game awards game of the year. Let's see if we can find it. Hold on. Uh, next year is going to be so hard. Exactly. I agree. I agree. I swear I'm not a fan. I'm not a fanboy. <laughs> Forza literally destroyed Xbox's record in 12 hours. I know. Forza is yeah. something, something, something special. Um. Okay. 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 Let's see here. All right, so last year's game of the year for 2020 at the Game Awards. Last of Us Part 2, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, and Hades. Compared to... Compared to Deathloop, It Takes Two, Metroid Dread, Psychonauts 2, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and Resident Evil Village. Huh. Interesting, man. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this lineup. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I do. But, ah, that's all right. That's okay. Uh, Here, let me, let me, uh, well... All right, Hermes, that rounds up our uh, recap of the nominees of 
the game awards thanks so much for joining i'm glad you were able to pop in on your birthday thank you so much for being yeah. here it means a ton thank you for having me uh if you stick around we'll go ahead we'll play something maybe we'll just chat it up who knows we'll figure it out um but thank you if you guys are watching on youtube you can catch us live i'm trying to do monday wednesdays and fridays uh friday nights of course our split screen at 9 p.m eastern time sometimes we have indie developers sometimes we have interviews with other content creators and sometimes me and this man over here just kind of over here just kind of bullshit so uh if you guys come join us a uh, friday night that'll be a lot of fun and uh mondays and wednesdays uh we're trying to play a bunch of games so thank you guys so much for being here and joining us thank you hermes thank you sir and uh yes, thanks we'll see you guys hopefully on the next video thanks guys